This is this is so awesome. I should not get this excited about patterning. <laughs> I'm so jacked right now. Look at it. Just look at it. Given your family lineage, I would say that that's normal. Shotgun nerd. Shotgun nerd. No. The Minnelli Super Black Eagle 3 is their latest in the family of Super Black Eagle shotguns. And quite frankly, these are known to be very high quality semi-auto shotguns, very popular with hunters, shooters all over the place. What's neat about this is it kind of comes with everything you need and it comes with a lot of upgrades. It comes with a hard case and it also comes with this little guy here. Now you've got a shim kit to make adjustments to the drop and the cast of your stock to really fit it to your physique and your style of shooting. That's really important because on a shotgun, your eye is the rear sight, so it really does have to fit so you're looking right down the barrel at your target when you mount the gun. So you can really customize that, which is nice. It also comes with a full set of choke tubes, five tubes in this set. And you have the two extended ones, so we'll talk about that first. Um, this is improved cylinder and then you've got a modified. These are easy because you just use your hands, you don't have to use a choke wrench. The Benelli does come with a choke wrench, which is actually a pretty nice one, but for out in the field, this is kind of nice to have. Put one in the gun, put one in your bag for your hunting bag. If you're hunting ducks, for example, and they're landing further out, maybe you swap to a modified choke, but maybe you're hunting flooded timber and they're landing pretty close in, an improved cylinder might be the way to go on that. Now, they also come with these cryo chokes that are flush fitting to the gun. And you've got three different sizes here. You've got a full, you've got an improved mod, and you have a cylinder choke, which is gonna be the widest open one. It's important to pattern your shotgun, test your chokes, and kind of tailor that to the type of shooting and the type of hunting you're gonna do. You don't need much to do this. You need the gun, you need some ammo. A range finder is handy, so you can range your target and make sure you're at 20, 30, and 40 yards. Those are the distances we're gonna use to see how the pattern changes. And we're gonna shoot each one of these, the full, the improved mod, and the cylinder choke, and see if it stays in the circle. Now we've drawn a 30 inch circle because what we're trying to do here is test this for wing shooting. And that's a, about an appropriate uh, size pattern that you're looking for. Now if you were doing this for turkey, you'd want a much tighter pattern getting the head of that turkey. So you're gonna have to adjust depending on what you're doing. But let's get started with the cylinder choke at 20 yards. All right, first off, an important note. With these cryo chokes, the silver ones that are flush fit, you cannot shoot steel shot in them. So this is lead shot only. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're using the seven and a half, eight duplex load. So this is a load that you would shoot on quail or clay targets or something like that. Certainly you could use this for pheasant loads, but if you're gonna go to steel shot, you need to use the extended tubes. Those are rated for steel shot. So 20 yards, this is a cylinder choke. Let's see what we get. All right, let's move back to 30. Let's go to 40. Okay, we're back here at 40 yards. Now, from back here, you start going, that's pretty far. I wonder if I would hit a target back here. And for certain types of patterning, some people are gonna shoot off of a bench just to be super precise, certainly for turkeys and that kind of thing, it wouldn't be a bad idea. But we're gonna stand here and take a good aim at 40 yards with a cylinder choke. All right, first up, we've got the 20, 30, 40 yards. So 20 yards first. And the cylinder is, of course, the widest choke. 
so it's gonna give us a bigger pattern. Now right off the bat, you go, okay, pretty good coverage here, but 20 yards, this could probably work. What we're looking for is holes in the pattern. Now some people will bring a clay target or a little cutout of a bird to kind of test the holes, but you know, you can actually even use your hand to say, are there hand size holes in here? And yeah, actually there may be, this probably could work, but watch, as we move to just the 30 yard target, I'm starting to see bigger holes that a bird or a clay could fly through. And that's why a cylinder, it works for really close up stuff, but as we move to the 40 yard target, okay, definitely this is not going to work. If, you're, if birds or clays are out to 40 yards, the cylinder choke is not gonna get it done. There's gonna be too big a holes in the pattern and they can fly through, you're not gonna break them. So let's put in the next one, the improved modified and test it. All right, we've swapped out. We've got the improved modified choke in here. Should be a little bit tighter pattern. We're gonna shoot it at 20 yards. All right, let's move to 30. All right, we've backed up to 30 yards. Improved, modified. Let's see what this does. All right, we backed up to 40. I think if I shot a duck from here, I'd want a really good dog. Let's see what we got. Okay, I probably shouldn't get this excited about this, but this is like shotgun nerd stuff. 20 yards, improved, modified. All right, nice pattern here. Now, does it fill up the 30 inch circle? Absolutely not. You wouldn't probably be killing a bird or breaking a clay at the outer edges of this. But inside, call it a 20 inch circle, absolutely great hits here. Now moving to 30, you see it open up a bit. And this might be about right, depending on what you're doing. Now you still, are not covering the whole circle, but maybe you're just not going to. And you see, you do see pellets outside of the circle too. All right, 40 yards. This is backing up quite a bit. Actually, it's a pretty even spread. I don't have a lot of pellets in here. I'd like to have more, but these are target loads. These are light loads. There's not a ton of pellets in here. Let's test it with the full choke. This one should be interesting. All right, we've swapped out to the full choke. Let's we'll see what it does at 20 yards. It's gonna put a hole. Okay, we've moved back to 30 yards, full choke. Let's go to 40. One of the observations about shooting this Benelli and really trying to be precise because we're trying to hit that dot in the center. This has a fiber optic sight on the front, this little light pipe. And this is an overcast kind of cloudy winter day and it is bright. And I like that because if I was shooting out at clays or birds or whatever, it's gonna jump out to your eye while you're focused on your target, it's gonna be easy to aim. All right, let's see what it does at 40. Now what's interesting about this is this is the Benelli uh, Super Black Eagle 3 is a real versatile gun, right? You can use it for all types of things, but for a lot of shooters out there, like you guys watching, this is gonna be a gun for hunting and specifically waterfowl hunting is Benelli's heritage and what they're really known for. Big loads, three inch magnums, three and a half inch magnums. What I'm shooting today are light target loads and the gun is cycling all of that, which is pretty impressive for a semi-auto gun. It's, a, it's a, definitely a tribute to the Benelli. The other thing is you do need to pattern your shotgun with the loads you're gonna be using. So this will work for target shooting, for quail hunting, that type of thing. But if I was gonna shoot big powerful duck loads, goose loads, 
I'd want to pattern it with that ammo. Okay, 20 yards. Now, a nice tight pattern here. There's something else that you notice when you pattern a shotgun. It's not simply the pattern, but you're also seeing where is your pattern in relation to your aiming point. Every single time I was aiming at the black dot, but you'll notice the bulk of my pattern is hitting high. And that's probably a factor of the way the gun is fitting me. I have not adjusted the shims on this gun, but if I shimmed it, I probably am gonna be able to center up, and that's what you'd want, center up the pattern to where you're aiming so you're not having the pattern be too high or too left, right, whatever it may be. So it's something you notice even more so with a full choke. Now, I'm not gonna kill a bird down here or, or, or break a clay, but it's a nice tight pattern here. Definitely, that's when you see those ducks crumble and fall is when you have a pattern like that, you just hit them just right. Now, the 30 yard target, this is pretty. This is what you kind of want to see. Again, we know that the center of my pattern is a little bit high, so there's, a, there's some spots missing on the bottom, but pretty good coverage here, and not much is going to get through, even at 30 yards. Now, if you go to 40 yards, full choke is really going to help you because 40 yards is pretty far for hitting a bird or a clay. You get really nice coverage still, even at 40 yards. Now, you do see how the pattern is high and it's going off the paper here. So I'd want to shim this gun up and make sure that the center of my pattern is in the center of my aiming point. If you're going to shoot targets out far like this, you're going to want a tighter choke like a full choke, but you could definitely miss at closer distances because the pattern is so small. Patterning your shotgun is a fun thing to do. You'll learn about your shotgun, you'll adjust the fit, and eventually that'll help you hit more birds.